All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Angela Overkill Hill. And now introducing an opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, the Latina Bullet Shed. Jacko! You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, Valentina Shevchenko has been fighting in combat sports since she was 12 years old. Pro MMA debut at 15. So you can expect she won't be affected by the bright lights here tonight. Yet another championship opportunity for Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Oh, she has mastered the distance control tonight. Another punch lands. Nice job landing that kick. Uppercut lands. So more output at least in the early going. Slip and counter by Valentina Shevchenko. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Full side control now. Shevchenko's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, she's got her in a crucifix from top position here, DC. What are you trying to do with your legs to maintain control of that arm? You know, you got to take the knee, slide it over the top. Oh, more attack. Yep. Oh, she's got that core locked in tight now. And now she's in mode. in half guard now. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Inside leg kick now. There's the single. Setting up for another submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Hill's cut above the eye from that strike, so some depth. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Back to the feet now. Just over two minutes now to go. Another big hit now. That's really good defensive awareness by the opposition. She's not going to get submitted here. High level grappling on display here as she finds a way out and reverses the position. All right, stacked guard here, DC. She's got the feet on the hips if she wants to escape. Yeah, she's free. I mean, she's free. Once you get your feet on the hips, you're free. And she has done that. She has beat the position. All she has to do now is extend her opponent away from her, kick her off, post her hand on the mat, just basic jiu-jitsu stand up to get right back to fighting her feet. Ooh, uppercut. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. She lands a nasty flying knee. Under a minute now to go round one. Oh, the straight hand lands plus to the body by him. Beautiful defensive skills on the screen. 
Back and forth we go. Well, she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was. And she has exploited that, and she's gonna continue as she tries to get her hand raised. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, nice elbow. Final seconds here. All right, so once again, no surprise. She shoots for a takedown here. Maybe somewhat surprising that she hasn't been able to take her down with much consistency. In the build up to the fight, she said, there's no way my opponent can stop me from securing takedowns. Well, to this point, she was very wrong. All right, the round is over, and Hill's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good, I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still gonna get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Hill. She's hurt real bad. And she separates from Oakley. Big shot lands. Fighter lands a jab. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same... Oh, that's a good one. Well, she's able to get back up here, but man, look how wobbly she is. Wow. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Nice jab by Angela. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were gonna be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets longer. Oh, another one! Feels like the beginning of the end. She's got the single collar tie. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Hill's cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. Well, she lands the strike there, but safe to say DC not necessarily one for the highway. No, not her best punch. But what do you imagine? What do you think is going to happen when you throw everything in your arsenal early in the fight? Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, she bails on the sun. Hill gets back up. Man, she is just relentless. Unbelievable. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. It's no hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. All right, so get another damaging strike to the body, and at some point, you got to think about lowering that. An elbow! Oh, nice kick. It landed some nasty strikes. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Lands a nice straight. Well, it looked like we were gonna get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find the kill shot. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed 
a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Shevchenko's in half court. Well, her opponent continues to attack that cut, and there is more. Shevchenko's looking for that arm triangle now. All right, well, she continues to try to set up submissions here, but there it is, gets denied again. Once again, the submission is denied. This is just great submission defense. I mean, she's so locked in, she doesn't give you any chances. It'll be very hard to get her out of here with a submission. In the half guard. 45 seconds remain in the round. And now she has her back. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. All right, right back to the well she goes. Another submission attempt here. She keeps trying to get the sub going. The rear naked choke is her calling card. She's got the arm under the neck. Now she's got to hide that back if she wants to finish this fight. Oh. I'd have been out. She got out. She got out of that position. Way to stay confident and comfortable under attack. And now she ends up in a dominant position. Wow. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that one. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, great deception to land the flying knee. Nice combination of kicks there by Hill. She's able to get up, but she is officially on wobbly legs. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every punch and moment. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. Oh, looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. Very tense moment for her opponent. She's got the arm triangle locked in. What she's got to do now is get forward pressure, keep her hands locked tight. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Shevchenko's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. I'm still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. She's out again. Shevchenko's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Most fighters will tell you. Oh, she got out, Chen. I was wrong again, John B. It looked like she was done. She was going to tap, but nope. She was able to stay safe, get off to her side, get her arm free, and find safety. Great job. And you were right in her obit. Right in her obituary. All right, so now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. Great job blocking that shot. 
Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage get between the rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Oh! You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Angela Overkill Hill. Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her and her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen.